Well, Fayette County now once again seeing an alarming increase in positive COVID-19 cases as their active case count tops 130. Newswatch reporter Anna Saunders spoke with the county's health officer to get more information about the reasons for the sudden uptick. We're at a point where um, our numbers are increasing um, to a very concerning state. We, I would say we have moderate to high community transmission right now. Double digit positive cases in Fayette County every day since last Thursday. Dr. Stewart says the problem now is that those who test positive have pages of contacts rather than just two or three, causing alarming community spread. Dr. Stewart says there is also a big church outbreak where 40% of the 100 person congregation has tested positive. The health department is not releasing which church it is and says those involved and their close contacts have all been notified, but she says it is important for all congregations to take heed. Just making sure that we're still not getting complacent and that we're still encouraging masking, um, setting every other pew, or, you know, best case scenario would be virtual services. You know, right now, when, uh, my recommendation is that when we are on the incline and we're seeing moderate to high community transmission to try to do things virtually in different sectors, and that is no different for the religious sector. And now as we approach the winter season, Dr. Stewart says this is always a busy time for health care providers, even without the overwhelming responsibility of COVID. So she's calling on the public to do their part. We need to be selfless and do this for our neighbors, for our loved ones, um, for strangers. Um, you know, we are getting into the holiday season and it tends to be a giving season and what a better way to really model that to, than to do the right thing, to wear a mask, to social distance, to wash your hands and keep people safe over the holidays. Reporting in Fayette County, I'm Anna Saunders, News One. And the health department tested today and will be testing again on Friday from 1 to 4 at the Ruby Welcome Center. New River Health will also be testing 10 to 2.